Hello and welcome to Yoga with Glenn. I'm Glenn. Today I have a nice easy flow that's going to improve and help with gut health. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, hop in some comfy clothes, hop on your mat, and let's get started. Whether you've been traveling and sitting for hours, or you might have eaten something that doesn't quite agree with you, today we'll go through some twists and postures that will help relieve temporary gut issues. If you have long-lasting gut issues, more chronic problems, I recommend speaking to your doctor or healthcare professional. But to begin our session today, let's really establish our breath. Let's get a good breathing rhythm down, because breathing through these postures and twists is what's going to help us through today. So I recommend here in Sukhasana or easy cross-legged seated position, nice tall spine. I'm sitting on a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, a couple pillows will do or just something to make yourself more comfortable. Raise your hips up off the ground. Again, tall spine, open heart, and we'll begin by breathing in through our belly. So inhale, belly comes out. Exhale. Belly back in and breathing everything, every bit of air out. Inhale from the belly. Exhale. You can inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, or both inhale and exhale through the nose. Either way, we'll do just fine for this yoga session today. Another breath, inhale in and exhale out through the belly another inhale belly feel the ribs expand and then exhale ribs back in belly back in deep inhale belly ribs out chest lifts a full breath and then slowly exhale chest ribs belly all together, inhale, and exhale. These complete inhales and exhales will really help us move through our postures today, and of course, any posture in any yoga flow. So now that we have our breath established, we'll begin movement. So inhale, arms come up, and exhale. Take a twist, placing one hand on a knee, the other hand either on the bolster behind you or on the ground behind you. And an inhale here in our twist. And an exhale. And when you're ready, inhale back to center. And exhale over to the opposite side. A filling inhale and an exhale here in this twist. Again, if you have some temporary gut problems, this will help just kind of recenter, rearrange everything back to where it needs to be. With an inhale, arms come up, and again, we'll take a twist to the opposite side. You don't have to really force your twist. As long as you're twisted just a little bit, this will do just fine. Once you've taken a breath here, when you're ready, with an inhale, back to center, and exhale over to the opposite side. A breath, and after an exhale, inhale back to center, and then exhale, either rolling over the knees into a table posture, or just gathering your legs Coming into a table posture, moving your props off to the side if you're using props. And here are shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. And with an inhale, really lift the tailbone, drop the belly, lift the chin and chest. An inhale, really expand that stomach. And an exhale, really pull the belly button back in as you breathe all the air out. Another inhale, really dropping that belly, and then with an exhale, we'll shift into 
Cat pose, really rounding the spine, tucking the tailbone, sending the spine up to the sky, pressing through the earth with the hands. Another round of breath here, inhale. Feel the difference in where the air goes, and exhale. Another inhale, back into cow pose, lifting the tailbone, dropping the belly, lifting the chin and chest. And another breath here, exhale, let everything go. Inhale, really drop that belly towards the ground. And exhale again into cat pose, <clears throat> tucking the tailbone. Spine towards the sky, press through the earth with the hands. Take a breath here. Might not get a full inhale here in cat pose. But you can surely get a full exhale. And then when you're ready, inhale once more into cow. Tailbone up, dropping the belly, lifting the chin, lifting the chest. Exhale, really pull the belly in. And then inhale, really drop the belly. And when you're ready, one more cat pose. With an exhale, take an extra breath here. And then after an exhale, inhale into that neutral table posture. Now we'll take the left hand, extend it out, bring the arm or bring the hand to the back of the head. Try not to push down on the neck so much, but with the elbow, we're going to aim and placing the elbow just behind this wrist with an exhale and an inhale up, opening yourself up. Exhale, elbow down. If you're not able to make it all the way down, that's okay. And exhale. One more inhale, come up. One more exhale down. And inhale, release. And place the hand back on the ground. Same thing, opposite side. Take the right arm, extend it out. Hand on the back of the head. Inhale, open up. And exhale. Down to the ground. Inhale, open for this twist. And exhale. Really focusing on the breath. Focus on the exhales, pulling the belly in. And the inhales, really letting that belly come out. And exhale down to the ground, inhale, come up, and back to neutral, release the hand, bring it back down to the mat. And if your toes aren't tucked, tuck your toes, pressing the hips up into downward facing dog, adjust yourself if you need to, heels as close to the ground as possible, pressing through the earth with those hands, some space between the ears and the shoulders, pressing the chest back towards the thighs, and of course, breathing and inhale, really push that belly out with the inhale, and bring it in with the exhale. Moving our body around in these different positions and really focusing on the breath will really help relieve any issues. Now you've taken just a couple breaths. One last breath. Inhale in. Make it a good one. And exhale. And look to the front of your mat. Shift forward into high plank and then slowly lower yourself down. Bring the arms up, bring the elbows in, stack the shoulders over the elbows. Bring the feet together, shoelace side of the foot on the ground, chest up, chin up, for Sphinx pose. 
Hi, Suki. Speaking of Sphinx. And really breathe in this posture here. Again, moving our body in different positions. Really utilizing that breath to help us out. You should be about three, maybe four breaths in. Make sure they're deep inhales. And then when you're ready, lower yourself back down. Forehead on the ground, move your arms out, your hands out just, to, just outside of your mat, and maybe bring them down just a little bit. And like you would for high cobra, press yourself up. And this is seal pose. And then bring a shoulder in towards the center, taking this twist. Inhale. Remember the belly, exhale, belly back in. And with an inhale, come back to center. Same thing, opposite side, still pressing through the earth with the shoelace side of the foot, bringing the shoulder towards the front and inhale. And an exhale. And when you're ready to inhale, come back up to center and bring yourself back down to the mat bring your hands back in table posture bring the knees wide to the mat big toes to touch and then sink back into downward facing dog forehead resting on something whether that be the mat a blanket block if you have one and again feel where the breath goes to now now that the belly might be pressing against the thighs for me, as I inhale, the breath puts a little bit of pressure, good pressure on the low back. For me, child's pose is a good way to sort of massage the low back. Four or five breaths here in our child's pose. Deep inhales, easy exhales. Remember, initiate from the belly. And when you've completed your breaths and after an exhale, inhale, press ourselves back up to table posture. If you'd like to set your bolster back up, you may do so, but come to an easy seat on your bolster. Bring your knees to your chest, or if you're on the ground, walk your hips back a little bit so you're sitting on the sit bones and not the upper butt area. Bring your knees to chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Bring your head down to the knees if you're able to. We'll take just a couple breaths here. Embrace yourself well. Breathing from the belly. And after an exhale, slowly release. Come to a cross-legged seated position or Sukhasana. Tall spine, cross at the ankle, open heart, level chin, hands resting on the knees. I hope this quick flow was able to cure any gut issues you might have been having. I know after I travel always takes a little bit if I don't do anything to just kind of get everything back to where it's supposed to be after sitting for hours and food on the road that sort of thing remember to utilize this breath every day every breath you take 
initiating from the belly as you breathe in belly comes out ribs expand outward chest lifts and as you exhale chest falls ribs in belly in this full complete breath I really hope you enjoyed the session today. Remember to listen to your body. Let's take one last fulfilling breath together as we circle the arms up with an inhale. And bring the hands down to heart center with an exhale. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.